quick introduction. He's uh, been at uh, Kaiser Chiefs since 2003, then made his debut in 2006. Uh, uh, top goal scorer for Kaiser Chiefs with 12 goals in 2007. Kaiser Jr. retired on the 3rd of February, and now he's with us right here on Sport at 10 after 10 years at the club. Kaiser, it's nice to have you with us. Oh, thanks, Tom. And hi to all the viewers, and it's a pleasure to be here. Great! <clears throat> Which actually brings me to, you know, you've been in South African football for so long, and yet I don't think I've actually had an opportunity to be face-to-face -face with you and have a conversation. So your interest in football, was is that the only sport you ever wanted to play? Nah, to be honest, uh, I, was, I was just fortunate enough to, to go to a school that offered a wide variety of sports. Uh, I've always loved football. It's been my passion. But uh, if, if you're lucky enough to be open to play cricket and have the opportunity to play squash and athletics, you know, so I, I just love sport in general. Uh, the love for football, uh, people always ask me, is it because your dad, you know, has a football team and was a legend? It's like, I think if you ask any young kid now, especially a South African child, what sport do they love growing up? If you go to Soweto or any, any place in South mm. Africa, they'll say they love football, they love ah, soccer. Skidjo, you, you see? So squash, they, squash, no, there you go. <laughs> there you go. So the thing is, the same with me. It was, it was no different. It was no different. And it was always, it was always a dream of mine to, to see how far I could go in football. And then you went overseas. Yeah. What happened? How, what's the discussion at home? You're now playing football. You're at academies in South Africa. Yeah. What discussion <clears throat> happens in the McDonald household that says, it's time for you to go overseas. Well, the most of the discussion is always based on education. Uh, that's another reason why uh, a, lot of, a lot of my peers would have a lot more time for football. And I always, always had the focus to be going to school. So even when I had the, the short stint in England, it was also cut short because I had to go back to, to my term, to, to school. And other guys my age who were just solely focusing on football were able to just go and, and concentrate on their football. So for me, at home, it was more of like, listen, we want you to, to, to pursue your education, to do well in that, but follow your heart and we'll support you either way. Then Germany. After that, it was back home. It was back home for a year. After I was back home for a year, and that's actually where I took the decision to, to, to follow professional football, seriously. Because I took a gap year, I was supposed to go to university, mm. and discussions at home were like, go to university, education first, but I said, no, I want to follow my heart and play football. So then that was when I signed for the first team under Machine Etrigal at Chiefs. And then it took you three years to actually break in to the first team. Yeah. What did you do from 2003 until your debut against Supersport United in 2006? Well, actually, my debut was actually, my very first start was against Wits University. I thought it was Supersport. No, it was Wits University, and it was actually in 2003, 2004. Uh-huh. On the Ted Dimitri, when we won the league after that very long break. And my very first start was my very first goal. Played against Wits University at FNB. Never forget that, one of my proudest moments ever. So uh. it actually wasn't that three years. It was actually the second year when I got back from overseas. So it was, it was a blessing and an honor and something I'll never forget.